It's time to collect those wishes. The Perseid meteor shower is just about to peak in the nighttime heavens, and those shooting stars will be quite visible from our coast, weather permitting, of course. Here with more is Kale Shipman, Outreach Coordinator for Low Country Stargazers. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for bringing our uh, solar system model so that we have a better idea of what's going on here in the universe. Um, so the, the Perseid meteor shower, this is an annual event? It is. About uh, 10 to 12 times a year, the Earth in its uh, orbit around the sun will plow through the remnants of what was an ancient comet. And that's exactly what's happening this weekend. We're going through the remnants of a comet called the Swift-Tuttle Comet. Uh, the, it comes past the sun about every 130 years, uh, then returning way out past Neptune. But every 130 years, this comet comes by, leaving behind a trail of dust and you could call it gravel, it's pea-sized stones. And it's that dust and those small, small stones that uh, as they enter our atmosphere burn up and produce this meteor shower. So they actually do enter the atmosphere. They do, they do. Uh, do you know approximately how much longer we're gonna be seeing uh, this event? No, it, it dep each time it goes past the sun, its orbit changes just a little bit. As it gets close to the sun, it tends to, to lose more of its mass. But it's probably good news for the Earth because I think a lot of people are wondering, could this ever actually make impact? You're right, and that's, that's always a question about things that go bump in the night that come from outer space. Uh, the good news is there's a lot of space in space. So <laughs> the chance of... It's infinite, <laughs> I, as from what I understand. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so um, the next meteor shower after this one, the Perseids, uh, will be in October, and it's when we pass through the tale of Halley's Comet. Everyone has heard of, of course, Halley's Comet. Yes. Swift-Tuttle, not maybe so recognizable. Certainly Halley's Comet which we will also pass through the tail of that. And, and we've already started seeing some of those meteor showers right. as it relates to the Perseid, but it's going to peak in the next couple of days, on yes. the 13th. Yes, on the right. 13th. So yes, if you were to go out tonight or the next night, you're gonna see more and more shooting stars with each passing night. It's gonna be happening in the Northern Hemisphere, so being here in South Carolina, weather permitting, we should be able to see it. Right. I actually have gone to see one of these displays at the beach, where yes. it was just completely dark. Yes. And that was, that was exciting, that yes. was so much fun. But the nor farther north you get, the more vibrant and visible it, it will become. It is, and the darker the sky, the better. Um, I would suggest, if, if you've never seen a meteor shower before, take a lawn chair into your backyard. Yes. Uh, that's easy peasy, uh, and you don't need any equipment with the exception maybe some bug spray. Yes, that's right. That's a perfect way to end this. Thank you so much for that excellent advice, and I can't wait to have you back when the next event comes. Okay, All we'll right. be here. Thank you. We're back after this.